So through a spiritual awakening, all what's happening is basically the Vima Wol Samba is from untruth to truth, darkness to light, ignorance through enlightenment. And that is the journey of a spiritual awakening, of a spiritual journey, of a spiritual growth, and walking the spiritual path. And it's from the Muladhara to the Swasara. As you evolve and expand your consciousness and get rid of the garbage, the energy moves in one of the main seven chakra. As the energy moves, you will start experiencing life differently. And the fourth one is your physical appearance is going to start drastically. I know when I went through my Kundalini Ascension, and Kundalini Ascension is a real thing, and it's there's a lot of myth around it, and that needs to be demystified. If you haven't watched some of my episode on this, I highly suggest you, you look deeper into that because it's real and there are many symptoms associated with that. So through a spiritual awakening, all what's happening is basically the Vima Wol Samba is from untruth to truth, darkness to light, ignorance through enlightenment. And that is the journey of a spiritual awakening, of a spiritual journey, of a spiritual growth and walking the spiritual path. And it's from the Muladhara to the Swasara. As you evolve and expand your consciousness and get rid of the garbage, the energy moves in one of the main seven chakra. As the energy moves, you will start experiencing life differently, which bring us, but let me elaborate more on the quality of how it changes your physical appearance. It makes you feel and look younger. The vitality, your frequency, your energy feel is different. And one of the biggest signs in this is the eye, the light in the eye is, is so bright, so ethereal. Everything change about you, even the quality of your tone of your voice is a new timbre. It's drastic and you can see when you look at photo of myself when I was going through this process, it's drastic. And when the heart opened, uh, when I went through a major depression, when I actually was feeling uh, and I did not know what I was going through, was falling into the deep depression where I attempted to commit suicide. And they found me in a coma five days later, and I was completely blue. And when the doctor, I was hospitalized for three weeks and assessed. And when the doctor asked, and he said, Davy, look at the report. And they were shocked how I had survived that, that I was not brain dead or paralyzed. And so this was such an intense spiritual awakening. So as you're going through those phases and the symptoms, it could be very, very painful. And this is where you need a lot of support, guidance, and, and help, and an assistant and guidance, because you can get so confused about what's happening. And you will see you physical, and that comes much later as you go through a Kundalini Ascension. So which lead us to the fifth one, and it's how you see everything with a new perspective, with clarity. Everything is, is clearer. You have got rid of a lot of garbage, of all the accumulation and the puppet string, invisible puppet string of 
of your socialization from your family, the conditioning, the brainwashing from parents and family and government, media, your whole entourage while you were in school, everything you have ingested and you never question. And out of a sudden, now you start questioning everything about your life. Who am I? What am I doing here? You ask those very important, most significant question about what is the meaning of my life and who I am, which leads on the the six major breathtaking and David must that breathtaking because you're going to take a lot of breath breathing deep mindfully breathing and you will notice that even your breath will become differently you are getting away from your compulsion you expanding your consciousness you starting seeing things different as they are, not through the lenses of your binoculars. Think of a pair of glasses or windows, and they're super dirty, they're filthy, they have so much darkness. So how are you going to see the light, beloved? Imagine you wear your glasses and they're so dirty and greasy, and how are you going to see? And so out of a sudden purification comes, Mahashakti, what we call the Divine Mother in the yogic tradition, just means this primordial energy comes and just come and purify it. And she knows best what needs to be purified, which leads us to the sixth stage. And that one can be coming back and forth throughout the decades because it can last many decades. It asks for this one, and it is a sense of deep solitude. You need, you feel like everything around you is changing so fast, your, your environment, your friends, they're not the same people, even family member, suddenly they might not be in your life. You want solitude, so you're seeking deep solitude, you're not interested into anything. All your friends are leaving you. You're not the same anymore because all that garbage you accumulated in the karmic structure has been falling off. And you become inward, in silence. You're seeking contemplation. You're seeking introspection. You seeking solitude in nature and, and you're not interested in anything around. And you feel like you're going to a stage that maybe you're going insane or you're going crazy and you wonder and you don't know what's happening because all those six breathtaking phases can happen over even a decade. And some of them might be more prominent than other. In this case of this one, I went through period, and especially as you evolve and your consciousness expand, you will notice that there will be period where you really need to go back into your own cave. And what Devi Ma means, not necessarily going into the Himalaya, even though that would be a great thing, a great experience um, in a pilgrim, but is to go in that inner cave. So this is where you need a lot of support and guidance. And just trust you will pierce through with the proper guidance. And the, it all depends, all of those phases will depend on your karmic structure how open you are, how receptive you are, and especially if you are walking the spiritual path. What I mean is with a spiritual master, teacher, where you guided, where you do sadhana, spiritual practices like pranayama, kriya yoga, uh, different form of meditation, 
nidra yoga, nada yoga, all different kind, and to accelerate your spiritual ascension. And so don't get discouraged. You have the inner power, you can do it. That self-talk, oh, I will never master myself, it's impossible. I can reassure you that you will with, if and not, how long is it going to take? It's going to be in the next video. And what's next? And what if I want to quit? Because those are the questions David Ma receive very often. And that is going to be in the next video right now. So stay tuned and I am here for you.